There we have the urban expansion vastness, the grand boulevards and such of Kendall Square. This particularly posh address has been known to house both Google and Microsoft. I don't know if they're still there. Schlumberger is. And this is a critical rail link line that is poorly understood. But you can tell that it's in re fairly regular operation by the sheen on the tracks. The billboards obviously have seen better days. And what it does is it goes all the way over to the backside of Kenmore Square, thus connecting South Station with North. There's been talk about trying to route some trains from South Station over to this thing, but it would be a nightmare. Usually it's used late at night, and it goes all the way over to the yards adjacent to North Station. My plan will be to cross the old Longfellow on this side, which carries traffic coming from Boston. And this is the side they're proposing to reduce the traffic load for in order to accommodate more bicycles and pedestrians, which I'm totally for, of course. So we'll take a look at that. Then we'll go visit the little esplanade parks that swell with people at 4th of July and other browbeaten occasions that characterize the canon of American holidays. This is, I believe, a Moshe Safdie building, but I'm not sure. Everything is techno gargantuan designed to, to make you despise living here despite how much you're paying through the nose to do so. I guess it's futuristic in a way. <laughs> and that looks up to Inman Square. We're now fully entrenched in Broadway. These are some of the interesting little back avenues MIT makes for its community. That heads over in the general direction of MIT and the river. And you can see we have a pile of these orange things indicating a closed sidewalk, but it appears to be open for now. This uh, was a facility brought to Massachusetts back in the year, the lean years, when Governor Volpe ended up going to work for Nixon as his transportation secretary. So this is a transportation study epicenter. Soon we'll be coming to the miserable little roundabout circle thing that brings all of these disparate roads to a head before the bridgehead of the Longfellow Bridge. And this is more or less where the sidewalk really is closed from some kind of interminable thing. So Rather than hazard wading through this mess, I'll make a traverse here. In front of the utterly splendid and totally worthless Cambridge Center Marriott. Oh, 
could stop at some place and get something to eat. Wow, this brickwork is in surprisingly crappy shape. <clears throat> Considering it's pretty recent, just goes to show you, no one really likes doing their job anymore. I wonder what poor bastards got soaked for this subpar bullshit. <laughs> Other than maybe the ever complaining taxpayers. Oh well, taxes are a good thing when they're properly used. This little clock tower on this building and the building itself has long been emblematic of Kendall Square. It's where the post office is located, among other things, such as it is. And the ever-present croissant dump. And there ahead of us looms the beginning of the Longfellow Bridge, which we'll be examining momentarily after a brief encounter with some kind of food. Man, from a, the old emblematic building, we now find ourselves in this kind of quiet, charming little public space involving some kind of globish thing. Fountains. Oh, and little benches you can sit on. Yeah. I'm gonna head this way and see if I can discover an odd pedestrian amenity that appears on Google Maps. I don't know if it exists in real life. Look at each one of these has some kind of different pattern it's trying to communicate. But yeah, it's some kind of boardwalk and like a backyard tour over to the bridgehead. So we'll see what it becomes. And there it all is. The bridgehead lies us. We'll be visiting it momentarily. The clouds have rolled in. A chill breeze has come in. This on the Memorial Day weekend. Huzzah! Looks like they're already setting up the complicated detour things they'll need to do as they start taking the bridge apart. Wow. That's a goal, I guess. <laughs> 